Hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Jonathan Cohn, and today I'll be providing a book review of the book Netherworld, a sel or not self-published, an indie-published fantasy novel by Ari Ryder. Now, a uh, couple of things to disclose. First of all, I know Ari. I've uh, met her, and I've had conversations with her and her sister, who I knew from a long time ago, and uh, they contacted me both of them asking if I could review, uh, uh, read and review Ari's books. Uh, she wrote this book and another book that I've read and reviewed on the channel. You may have seen this review. It was Murder at the Harvey House, uh, a, a Beatrix Adams mystery. I l read this book. I loved it. I thought it was like an American version of an Agatha Christie novel, perfectly encapsulated 1930s, 1920s, uh, flapper-like era of... Uh, you know, America. I thought that this book was just a perfect mystery, just about. Uh, there were a few elements in it that just didn't jive with, like, the dark mystery, but other than that, like, it, otherwise, it was, like, a delightful read. The way that the word language used was just great. This is a very different type of book. Uh, this is a fantasy novel with some kind of dark elements to it. Uh, this, the basic premise of the book, of, of this book is a, uh, a uh, brother and sister are living with their grandmother in this town. And there is a rich, uh, middle-aged man in this town who nobody really likes, but everybody uh, has to acquiesce to his requests because he's rich and he's powerful. And, and he, uh, he, if, he, if he doesn't like you, you're dead. And for some reason, he keeps pursuing uh, the younger sister, uh, Caitlin. And the, uh, the older brother is trying to protect her from this uh, old, uh, from from this man who's trying to essentially marry uh, his younger sister, and he doesn't want that, and she doesn't want that, and uh, so what does the uh, the rich man do to try to get rid of uh, Casper, the older brother? Well, he sends Casper to the netherworld. Uh, the The magic system is basically. When you die, you go to this kind of in-between place. And if you just say, you know what, I've had a good run, I'm done, you go to like your permanent heaven and hell. But if you're like, you know what, I still had more to do, you can like go through three trials to, to work your way back up. And you can, if your body is still um, unharmed, you can still re go back into your body jump back into life and you have a little brand on your arm that has, you know, a tattoo basically saying, yeah, you were, uh, you, you brought, or came back from the dead, but you have a second chance at life. Uh, but very, very, very few people actually do that. It's a hu huge shock when everyone, anyone does that. And so our main character, Casper, decides, I'm going to do this because I want to save my sister and protect her from this evil man. And uh, there is another character uh, probably one of my favorite characters in the book, who uh, is kind of has a crush. This, this boy has a crush on the girl who is being uh, being pursued by the old man. And so this boy tries to protect her as well when the brother is sent to the netherworld. And it's just it's just a, a, a delightful story. This is that's the way I will discuss this book. Is it's just a delight to read. Uh, this book did things that uh, uh, some other books I've read wanted them to do and they didn't do specifically the high druid of shannara series this series pitched a lot of the ideas that this book pitched the idea of sending characters to this kind of other dimension um in between my life and death uh and them having to work their way back up to our our world they kind of have similar ideas there the difference is this one didn't pursue it properly I think that this one, it, it meandered. It didn't need to be a trilogy for this idea. They could have done it as just one book. Um, uh, and this book is much shorter, and boy, was it able to get a lot accomplished. Um, uh, this book is only about 300 pages. It's like right at like 310, and yet it accomplishes every single thing it's set out to do. What I love about Ari's writing is she's a master of set up and pay off within the book. She's a master of handling tropes, of making it feel like a fantasy book. She doesn't overindulge at all. Uh, one thing, this is not a positive, nor is it a negative. It is just something that I want to warn people about. I would describe the world building of this book as minimalistic. It is not 
the hard Brandon Sanderson, Patrick Rothfuss, uh, you know, like where you're describing everything. It's not super detailed. The magic system isn't super refined. I'd say it's a softer magic system. It still has some more defined elements, so it leans. It's not super. If, if this is soft and this is hard, it's kind of like this. It's not all the way soft, but it's, it's, it's leaning towards the soft magic system. And it's not a super deep, rich universe. You're really just following the main characters I discussed, plus a, a few more, a grandmother and uh, some henchmen and stuff, but it's pretty much these characters that you're following. Um, and so it's a simplified universe, but it's, but because everything is nailed and because it just has this delightful tone, it makes you feel, it, it, it combines classic with modern, it makes you feel um, uh, like you're like the the attitudes of the characters feel like something you would read in character fantasy novels of the '50s, '60s, and '70s, maybe even the '80s. Like that, you know, there's a problem. The girl's in trouble. The boy, the guys are gonna go rescue her, and the girl uh, is able to somehow like try to escape, and she's able to team up with another girl to save. Like there's all those classic tropes are are within the book. Uh, yet it has some modern twists that I won't get into, but it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't feel totally classic. It has some modern twists that make it a bit more interesting. Uh, but it's, it's, just, it's just a delightful read. And um, uh, because of that minimalistic world building, though, some people might be turned off. Some people who are fantasy fans might say, you know what? I only want my hard magic systems. I only want my detailed world building. I'm not interested. But some people who are like me might be like, I don't care about the world building. I'm more in it for the characters in the story. So they might love this type of a book. Uh, and this book kind of serves in the same way that Mistborn, the final empire. It's like a standalone book, but it also can be the first in a trilogy and can be the first in a series. It's, it, it could be read standalone. Same with this book. You could read this standalone be like, wonderful. That was, that was a beautiful read. And it also has potential set up for a sequel that I would love to read if it ever comes out. Uh, so overall, I really liked a lot of what this book did. I think that this book brought a refreshing level to, a, 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 ref, a refreshing aspect to fantasy. It feels classic and modern. It feels like the plot is excellent, the characters are excellent, and it doesn't feel bogged down in world building and magic systems. It feels like you know exactly, like, when you're like, all right, you got the three trials, you're like, okay, and then he meets someone in the netherworld, you're like, this character that he meets in the netherworld has to do this by the end of the book. And the character who has a crush on Kaelin in the book he has to do this. Like, you can see all of that happening. But it's because Kaylin sets it up perfect. Or not Kaylin, Ari, Ari Ryder, sets it up perfectly in the book. Uh, it's, it's not because it's too predictable. It's because the author did a good job of preparing you for what you're about to read. So I am very excited to talk about this. I hope more people discover Ari. I hope that Ari is able to get into... Um, uh, more traditional publishing that she's able to break into a major publisher so she can get a lot of people to read her books because I think it's a lot of people are turned off by indie publishing. I'll be honest, I am. I don't particularly gravitate toward indie publishers. I read some indie books when indie authors contact me uh, or if like I'm really interested in that idea, like uh, Daniel Green's indie published books. But other than that, it doesn't... I'm not particularly excited about this type of thing, so I'm trying to branch out and I'm trying to get more people to hear about her and buy these books so that her credibility and her, her readership will grow for the future. So uh, what did you think of my review? Uh, if you've read the book, let me know that. I'd love to talk to someone who's read this book. I haven't been able to talk to anyone about it yet, but uh, if you're interested in this book or have a question about it, let me know in the comments section down below. And until next time, I'm Jonathan, and thank you for watching.